I have this video. This site is literally down right now, but I have a cache. So I can play it. I, I can bring this to you. I can show everybody this and then ask my chat. Chat, what do you think he's doing right now? Hopefully you can hear it if you're only listening. No, I want chat to give me their honest opinions. Don't lie for me. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you disagree on our assessment of this. This is about the fact how do we bring the country back together? He's doing his taxes. <laughs> He's making a mojito. He's shaking up the net. I don't know. Is it is it unusual for Ralph to go like two minutes continuously without any commentary? I don't know. I'm not like a huge kill stream watcher, so I don't. Really, I'm not entirely sure. Well, you're what it not gonna do in Florida either. Oh, there you go. There's some commentary. Approximately in Haley's home state, he has been targeting her as too weak to take on Biden. She would not be able to handle that position. She would not be able to handle the onslaught. All right, let's bring in. It's itchy. Very itchy now. Eugene Scott. Eugene, good morning. It's always wonderful to see you. I um, mean, come on. He's just slapping the cramps out of his leg. That's what he said. He said that he's like a massage in the muscle. It's getting more vigorous too. It must be working. <laughs> he's chopping up. It's Uh, that she would uh, still pardon him. She I know Nikki Haley's voice is just so pleasant to the ears. Yeah, How can you resist? Trump supporters and independents at the same time. And what's difficult about that is that these voting blocks ha actually often have different views on Donald Trump and how he should be handled. <laughs> Nikki, come on. <laughs> since leaving the white house and have expressed real concern i mean i'm open i'm open to other answers for this because he denies it while uh president uh and many of the base love him and want him to keep doing what he's done uh and you know support his plan for retribution towards his enemies and then it just stops he's just done after all that vigorous massaging of his leg he's just like yeah you know what that was enough that was a that was my, my leg is fully awake now i'm just done <laughs> I don't know. He uh he says that his leg had fallen asleep and that uh he was simply massaging the muscles to improve circulation so that it would wake up faster. Now, I do not believe that. I'm not an expert on these matters, chat. However, I would say that that is more reminiscent of uh Dark Side Phil than it would of other of other activities and so i posted this on zitter i said i regret to inform everyone that ethan ralph has pulled a dsp and accidentally streamed himself jerking off while listening to nikki haley and then i i even generously as a citizen journalist i added a, a uh asterisk next to my message and i indicated to the world uh to anyone listening that this may be a um disputed claim phrase it like that that ralph has an alternative theory to what he is doing and it is not necessarily in line with what seems to be obvious he says that he was merely trying to awaken his leg as i say he denies this and says that he was keeping his leg from falling asleep by slapping it so you know, i've been very nice to ralph uh i've been trying to encourage him to stay sober for the last couple months He's had fallen off the wagon a little bit, but you know, I'm still being optimistic because if Ralph can change, then nobody has any excuse. If Ralph can uh, be good, then how can anyone say that they don't they don't have the uh, the power, the strength of will to do it? How do you think Ethan Ralph replied to this? If you guessed, he jumped out and called me a pedophile again. Uh, you're correct. I'm oh, sorry. Here's a picture of Nikki Haley with a dolphin to understand why Ralph feels like he has a chance with her. From my understanding, she's like a former Marine from Hawaii. Um, she was a little bit of a favorite for a while, but she quickly fell out of favorite. Anyways, there's her with a dolphin. Um, he replies, untrue, but I regret to inform everyone that you hosted a haven for pedophiles and did it for money. Because if you host a website for pedophiles, but you do it for free, uh, that is worse. 
or is it better? I don't know. I assume that making money makes it better to Ralph. Makes it a good, gooder thing. Uh, so, in response to this very dismissively, I would say on the Kiwi Farms, uh, I have never in my life seen an ego so fragile. Uh, and within 21 minutes, Ralph sees this and says, your you ego is so fragile. Just let people lie on your name. No big deal. Sorry, Josh Potter. It is a big deal. Uh, now this is the third name that he's given me. I was previously John Potter and then I was, uh, Joa and then I was, um, what, what else was it? Was it John Potter was a weird one. And now it's Josh Potter. There are certain rumors about my name. Um, and I will tell you this, that none of them accuse me of being Josh Potter. So he read this once trying to dig up dirt on me like a year ago, misread it for whatever reason, and has continued to repeat this for literally years without ever clarifying to see if what he's saying is at all true. By the way, um, he sent this to me. He literally sent this tweet to me on Telegram. And I saw it on my phone and I decided to not to not even open it. So I left him unread. And then at a certain point, um, after not responding, uh, he deleted our entire conversation history uh, for both of us. So I noticed that his like contact image disappeared off Telegram which happens only if someone deletes their entire history of conversation with you. So uh, he was upset that I didn't even read his message and uh, <laughs> he, he purged our logs. <laughs> he was, I mean, I didn't say anything to him. I guess he kind of did, but I'm not going to like, I don't know. I don't have any reason to like try and shit on him that bad. It wasn't anything too interesting, I promise. It wasn't anything, I'll say it like this. It wasn't anything I didn't talk about on the stream. Uh, it just may be something that he doesn't want people to know that he's in there. Uh, he then decided to boot up after he purged our conversation logs. He then went on to Rumble, the premier streaming service of the internet, to, um, I just realized that T-Clips is posting with a picture of her, that's a picture of her, right? Like in clown makeup? That's very bizarre. Anyways, he decides to go ahead and call me a pedophile again. Uh, and do a whole stream on uh, how I'm a pedophile and see about me for hours. Um, and I'll read these uh, these notes from the end of Ralph's stream. Ralph told a story about how Pansuela told him Pansuela, by the way, being the Mexican prostitute that he hired to be his girlfriend, uh, told him to drive with an open beer because it's Mexico. He doesn't think Mexico has an open container law, and even if they did, he expects to be able to bribe the cops. He then goes into a cope session with a clip from yesterday how could you even come that quietly and that stern facedly like i don't know it's kind of crazy but you can see how my hands moving and it's because i'm punching my leg first i started scratching my leg and then i was getting really tired so i started hitting my leg to like stay awake now, why he was trying to stay awake, he says, because he had been abusing by prescription legally, not abusing, using as ordered, by the way, Xanax all week. So it's like, was having a hard time staying awake. Ralph points out he was a really intelligent guy. I'm a really intelligent person, and I hope that gets clipped for Kiwi Farms. There you go. Ralph suggests he will focus his attention on the Kiwi Farms King for the rest of this year. <laughs> By the way, Ralph probably jerked off because it looks like he's jerking off in this clip. And it's really obvious to everyone that it looks like he's jerking off. Uh, I will be focusing 100% of my brain power on this matter for the remainder of 2024. Mark my words. Okay, Ralph. I'm not going to go back to take his sight down. No, I want to take his life down. I don't give a fuck about his sight. He picked the wrong fight today, he says. This picture of him being here. Uh, I wasn't saying shit about you. You really featured me on your site. Like, I don't know. I did. I featured the tagline. I wonder if the site's going to work now because it's kind of working on my other monitor. Um... 
Uh, it says, Ethan Ralph pulled a DSP and accidentally streamed himself masturbating to Nikki Haley. That's all I said. Because uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, some people disagree. It sounds like someone said that he had alcoholic tremors or something. Ralph talks about how he's going to eat his torta even though it's already cold and adds, and trying to triangulate my position based on torta shops. First off, it ain't going to work. Second off, just blatant fucking harassment. I mean, it's funny to hear nobody's going to cry for me, but like, and you know who did that, Mary Jane? You know who did that? Do you know who I used to take to that same torta shop? I bet you do. Do you know who I used to take to that Goira, Goira sushi shop? I bet you do. Do you think it's an accident that I took pictures at both of these places? I bet you know it wasn't an accident. Yeah. And then he adds, and if you can find me, come find me. I mean, I haven't seen it happen yet, and I'm still living at the same address. You haven't even proven that I'm moving. Um, I think someone did actually go to Ralph's address to serve him papers, and he, like, chimped out. Do you remember this? It was uh, Harry Morris had sent somebody to, to Mexico um, just to service him, and he, like, fled. He, like, went to the beach or some shit. I remember this vaguely, but not enough to actually recount this in any accurate detail. Uh, according to Disclosed TV, all polls are closed in the New Hampshire primaries. Results are in. Trump declared the expected winner with 54% of the vote against Haley's 45. So Nikki Haley, unfortunately, the Ethan Ralph come tribute did not help you in the New Hampshire primary. And Donald J. Trump is expected to be the nomination in the state of New Hampshire. I'm actually surprised that it's that low and then Nikki Haley. I mean, it's only like, it's a uh, only 17% of the votes, but it's like 30,000 votes for Trump. And that's 54% for that. Not that many people vote in the primaries, I guess, which is based. Maybe liber maybe New Hampshire is more based than I expected. Maybe that is the true hot paradise. The people there seem to know the futility of the paper, uh, the, <laughs> The, the paper what's what's the word for unleavened bread matzah if you think about it a ballot is really just paper matzah i'll li i'll leave that little gold nugget of wisdom with you chat um and then this happened yes hello how Hello? Hello? I mean, it's a fake gem, but what's up? Oh, I just want to see. How, how are you doing today there, Pick Uh, I'm doing great, man. Oh, you won, you won $200? How many tortas does that buy? Uh, it buys a lot of tortas, actually. Now, do you usually source your tortas from the trash can you get your burgers from, or do you go to a restaurant? Nah, I, I used to go to the restaurant, but since you won't admit that your gem... I mean, there's no reason to let you stay, so. Um, but anybody who wants to come in under their real name, and that's not Jim, by the way. That's some idiot. I just want to make it clear. Yeah, yeah. clear. That is Jim, obviously. He's just so afraid of talking to him, I guess, that he booted him off immediately. Uh, Jim confirmed on the Fediverse that it was him. By the way, uh, pay special attention to his chat in this upcoming bit. Dummy Jim. Why would anybody think that's the real Jim? Like, I'm serious. Did uh, Let me ask you this. Press 1 if you thought that was the real Jim. Press 1, Jim. Absolutely nobody thought that, you idiot. <laughs> I love how he lies. You know, this just shows you how flawed voting uh, is. Because he asked people, press one if you think that like, was Jim. And then they did. <laughs> and he just doesn't like, he doesn't say, uh, like he doesn't even it, acknowledge the results of his own election. He just says like, you know, obviously everyone agrees with me. That's basically how I feel about voting, chat. Let's, I want to be real with you. 
he had every chance up until now to face me, and now he, he picks now to try to face me. And then he what? Oh God, Ralph threw me out in five seconds. <laughs> If there were women in charge, oh, no. there would be no... I don't want to see a razor fist. Come on now. Uh, yeah. So there you go. He invited uh, Jim on. Jim shows up. And then he decides, no, actually, fuck this. Also, that wasn't Jim, by the way. So don't say anything. Don't, don't you dare. Don't you even fucking think about saying that I pussied out. I'm afraid of Jim Medicare. These are all mere lies against my great name. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!